Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. I am back from vacation. I have a fun project for you today. But first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up is always appreciated. Okay, let's get into it. I want to do a pineapple themed tear tray for my living room. And I'm gonna use the three tear trays, so I'm gonna need a lot of projects. So first I'm gonna start with this pineapple cup that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I just screwed the lid off and I'm just removing the label off of the bottom. And I'm gonna kind of use this upside down, I think. I don't really like those leaves that came with the top of the cup. And so I was thinking I could use this little succulent that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Cause that kind of looks more like the top of a pineapple than the leaves that they gave me for the top of the cup. So I want to put this on the top of my tear tray. So I'm gonna use that existing hole for the top of the cup to just slide that on to the pole on the center. And so I'm gonna need an opening here on the bottom, just cutting with my X-Acto blade just so I can pop that little succulent in and we'll have a little pineapple. But first, it was a little too yellow and plasticky looking. I thought it looked a little cheap. So I'm gonna go in with um, one of these chunky brushes from the Dollar Tree and some Antique Wax by Waverly. I'm just kinda go all over. A pineapples, like a lot of times, you know, are brown with yellow in the center and not all one color yellow like that on the outside. So I am kinda going all over. It's bringing out like that texture on the pineapple and I really like um, how that effect turned out. Then I'm just gonna give a little bit to the top as well and around the base. And just going to try to dry off like the tips of the bumps there to make those yellow, kinda like it looks like when a pineapple is getting ripe. And I wiped off a little bit too much, so I'm just adding some more. And I really like uh, the effect that it gave me. I don't really want that bright yellow for this tear tray. I kind of want this more muted color of yellow and brown. So we are ready to put this together. My leaves there have some purple tips, so I am just trimming those off. Um, and they're a little too long to make it look a little bit more like a pineapple top. And I'm just getting that just how I like it. And then I am just going to pop that here in the top of that cup where I cut the little slits. And we have a big pineapple for the top of our tear tray. Now I went and measured it on the top of my tear tray to make sure that it fit. And it was a little bit too short, it was a little wobbly. So I'm just gonna use some of this wire um, burlap from the Dollar Tree and just put that around the base to give it a little bit more height. I think the wire on the bottom of the ribbon there will help keep its structure. Just pop it up a little bit without adding another detail that's gonna distract or take away from the pineapple. So I'm just using hot glue and attaching that wired ribbon. Ribbon. It was a little too tall, so I trimmed it down a little bit first and then just glued that on to make a little base. Okay, next project. I picked up this pineapple at the Dollar Tree and it's covered in this gold uh, garland, but the shape is great and the top of it is great. So the cage is not really together. I guess it was held together by the garland. So I'm just using some hot glue to try to attach the two sides of that plastic cage together. And then I just want to use some of that decorative rope from the Dollar Tree to wrap all the way around this. And that's gonna look way better than it did with a gold garland. And so once I have the cage glued together, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my package of the decorative rope. And there is tape on the ends, and so I don't want to fool with um, taking that off. So I am just cutting that piece off. And I'm just gonna use some hot glue to get started. And I am just going to simply wrap the decorative rope around the pineapple. 
and I am gluing it a little bit first. Sorry, my head is totally in the way. I have a new camera stand and obviously I don't know where my head is <laughs> during filming. And so I'm just using a little hot glue every now and then, um, like on one side, just to give it a little bit of stability so that the rope is not moving up and down. And then I just simply wrap all the way around one package goes almost all the way around of the pineapple. So I did have to open a second package to finish it off. And I just start gluing down the next piece to make it continue to make it kind of look like one piece keep, that keeps going. And I keep going around until I cover the rest of the cage on this. Now, finding these pineapple things in my store was really easy. They have a lot of pineapple things for summer, and that's where this was, was with the summer decorations, and so was that pineapple cup that I did first. So I think this project is complete. We have a rope pineapple for the tear tray, and then I am just gonna go over with a lighter just to burn off the excess little strings that are hanging off the side of the rope and give it a more finished look. Perfect. Okay, up next, I got this cute little pineapple light at the Dollar Tree. And um, it has a little light inside that you can turn on. And it was a little too bright, so I'm not really, I don't think I'm really going to use that. But again, it's bright yellow like that cup was. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with it. I'm going to go over, over all of it. The green stem part of the pineapple and the pineapple itself with that antique wax by Waverly to give it a distressed look and to tone down those really bright um, colors. And this really had really um, good texture and detail on there that you couldn't even see when it was all one color. And so that brown wax definitely uh, brought out the detail. And I'm just kind of rubbing some off the ends like I did with the other to make the yellow shine through. And that turned out really cute and easy. And this is what it looks like lit up. <laughs> okay, up next, I picked up this wood pineapple at the Dollar Tree the other day. They have these in their um, crafter square with the wood items. And I thought it would be perfect for this project. So I'm just using some painter's tape from the Dollar Tree to um, tape off the bottom. And I thought about putting something behind this because there is an opening. But then I decided I kind of liked it just as it is. So I'm just using painter's tape to also um, mark off the leaf part. And so that I can get started on the body of the pineapple. And I'm going to use that same Antique Wax by Waverly that I, from Walmart. And I'm just going to stain that wood brown. And I like the stained wood look. And I also think that looks kind of um, like a pineapple would look. So this is a tear tray. So you might be able to see the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the back too. I'm not going to be super careful and tape it all off. I'm just going to kind of get close. And um, just so that will look finished on the back as well. And just removing my tape, I'm going to do um, the top leaves in this green color. It's just an acrylic paint I had laying around. I think it was called like palm leaf or leaf green or something like that. And I am just going to use a smaller brush for the fine detail to get around the top of the pineapple without going over the um, brown wax. And then I want to also paint the back because again, you might be able to see the back. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the base the same color. Um, it'll go with the color scheme and um, show the difference between the base and the bottom of the pineapple. So I am going in and doing the fine detail there on the back. And also around the edges just giving a coat of that green paint. And I'm just trying to tape off the front a little bit. I don't want to mess up the antique wax with the green paint. 
And so I'm just going in and painting the front of that base. And I'm going to go around the edges and any of the exposed like um, unfinished wood, I'm going to paint that green. Then I don't like how, you know, clean it looks. So I do go in with my chunky brush and that Antique Wax by Waverly and just distress um, the leaves to give it kind of a weathered look. And I'm going to do the same thing along the base and on the back. There we have, we have a pineapple. I really like how this one turned out. Okay, this one's kind of similar. I also got this at Crafter Square at Dollar Tree the other day. And it is the wooden pineapple, but it has this little light inside. And so I thought this would be a fun project to do. And that's how it lights up. You just turn the back of it. And I'm trying to decide, I was thinking maybe if I put this yellow tissue paper behind it, it would make that part a light up yellow. So I think that might look good. So I'm using that Antique Wax by Waverly and kind of the same technique I did on the last pineapple and just going over and staining um, the grid pattern that is cut out there on the front of the pineapple. And I'm gonna use that same leaf green acrylic paint and you can use whatever you've got. Any color of green is gonna look good for the top of your pineapple. And just trying to carefully go um, on there and try to make it look clean there at the edge of the top of the pineapple. And I'm just gonna go in and stain these little side pieces as well. You're probably gonna be able to see those with an antique wax by Waverly. And it was kind of hard um, to get inside this thing. It didn't come apart easily. Um, where I could pop it apart to paint it and then put it back together. So I'm kind of having to do it with it all put together like that. Now, um, this is the yellow tissue paper from the Dollar Tree and I am just using a chalk uh, marker just to kind of mark out what size that needs to be. And I'm just cutting that out of the yellow tissue paper and I'm going to attach that on the inside of the pineapple. That way when the... Um, electric candle is lit it's going to shine through and it's going to make it look like it glows and since it's not a real candle this is totally safe and it'll be a nice addition to this piece so i'm just measuring it to see if it fits in there there are sides and stuff like that so i wanted to make sure that it was going to work and then i'm just going to use some glue sticks to attach that tissue paper um, to the inside of the pineapple so I just put the glue on there, sliding it back in and just going to attach it along the sides and the bottom and making sure that it is good and down. And I could kind of notice that you could see the unfinished wood um, through the back. And so I was trying to determine if I need to paint that as well just gonna give a quick distress to the leaves like I did before. And I decide, yeah, you can totally see inside. And so I'm just doing my best with the sponge brush with that Antique Wax by Waverly and going in and trying to stain the back of the pineapple because from the even the front and the sides, you're gonna be able to see that, I think. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just whatever I can get painted in there, it's gonna, I think, help the way it looks. And I did get a little bit on the little plastic candle and just clean that off with a paper towel. Okay, now these are pet toys. I got these on clearance at Target. They have them with like their summer stuff right now. And this little Mr. Pineapple is a cat toy. And I thought that would be a cute little character for our tear tray. And it was really cheap. So I went ahead and picked that up. This other thing is dog toys. It's a watermelon and a pineapple. And to be honest, I bought it for the watermelon. I really like that. The pineapple piece doesn't really look like a pineapple that much to me. But I think it'll, it'll work on our tear tray. And next up is this pineapple that I found at Dollar Tree today. It is one of the little galvanized metal 
pineapples on a little wood stand. And so I'm just using that antique wax by Waverly to stain um, the bottom of it. And I thought about just leaving it as metal. I thought that was kind of cool, but I have a galvanized tear tray and I wanted something that was gonna pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna actually just paint the metal. So I'm using that same leafy green um, acrylic paint to paint the stems. And then I decide to use this, um, I think it's called Maze um, Waverly Chalk Paint. And I am painting the body of the pineapple in that. And it does go on, um, it covers pretty good, you know, even though you're using it on the metal. But I did want a little bit more yellow um, coming through for this because I do have a plan to make this like extra special. So I'm going to go in and just give another coat of that maze to brighten the yellow just a little bit. And this is my plan. I want to use this twine from the Dollar Tree to try to make that, you know, pineapple grid pattern on there with the rope. I think that would go nicely with some of the other projects. And so I glued it to the back and then I just kind of need to get it started. So I need another dot of glue there. Now it's kind of staying in place and so I can just wrap around and around till I get like pretty good spacing. And then I'm gonna go around the base of the bottom and I am gonna go around the other way and kind of match up the ends on the sides and give it that fun pattern that reminds me of a pineapple. And one more to go around the top and I'm just gonna snip that off and hot glue that to the back. And that turned out really easy. I really like how that project turned out. What do you think? Okay, here's another project. Um, they have these little wood pineapple, um, I guess they're kind of like planters, um, in with the wood stuff in the crafter square as well. And I've done everything else yellow and brown, so I decided I wanted to do this pineapple in a different color. So I'm using the ivory chalk paint by Waverly. And I will give it a little distressing in a yellow, but I kind of wanted this to be the base so that it wasn't matchy, matchy with all the other pineapple projects that I've done. So I went over the front, the back and the sides, and it was really easy to paint because it was such a light color of wood and the ivory definitely covered really well. So, I'm, here's that same maize chalk paint by Waverly, and I'm just gonna use my chunky brush and give it a light distressing in the yellow, just to give it a yellow tint, but not really make it like real obviously yellow. That way it still kind of looks like a pineapple, but it's gonna look like more of a lighter farmhouse distressed version of a pineapple. And I try to get like a pretty even distressing and then I'm gonna use a chunky brush and that antique wax by Waverly. And I'm gonna distress diagonal and then I'm going to start going the other direction to try to give that grid pattern, but with like a distress. Just like that. And I, can, I like that effect. I'm not like doing a lot of lines just a couple one way, and then I turn around and do a couple the other way. And I don't really want the sides to look different, so I am doing kind of the same thing on the sides, just to uh, bring that in all together. Okay, now I want to use that same green acrylic paint that I have, the leafy green, and I am just going to carefully paint the stems of my planter um, with a foam brush. And I am just gonna go along the top and the edges too, just to give that a more finished look. I'm not gonna paint the inside or anything because I am going to put a plant in there. I think that you won't be able to see that part. So I'm gonna use some of the soft green foam um, from the Dollar Tree. It's a little too big, so I'm just carving a little piece off the end and I'm using this greenery that I picked up at Dollar Tree today. It's kind of a little tropical leaf. I thought that might be fun to go with the pineapple theme. And I like this color of green. 
and I am just using every single piece of the greenery off of there and trying to fill it as full as I can so that I don't have to do any kind of cover over the foam because you won't be able to see it. And then I remembered I wanted to tie some twine around the stem and so even though I'm done with it, I am gonna wrap it around a couple times and just tie that off and just do a simple little bow. And sorry again about my head. And just snip it and kind of arrange it how I like it. And there we go, we have our little pineapple planter. And I'm really, it was, I'm really glad that Dollar Tree had so many pineapple um, items. It made this project a lot easier. So I picked up this little yellow candle from Dollar Tree. It kind of reminded me a little bit of a pineapple. And I have another one of those succulents that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna put it on the top of the candle. I'm just gonna attach it with a drop of hot glue. That way it doesn't mess up the candle and I can reuse the candle for something else when um, I'm done with this tear tray. So very pineapple-y, what do you think? Okay, I have this shine vase that I picked up at Dollar General for I think $3 and the colors are perfect with the yellow and white. It says shine, which could work, but I thought I would just flip that little ceramic tap over and put one of these little stickers from the Dollar Tree on the back. So I just stained it with the Antique Wax by Waverly and I am just attaching that to the tag. <laughs> I got some of the antique wax on the top of that base, which was very porous. So just touching that up and we are good to go. Okay, I want to do a little sign. Um, I usually like to have at least one sign on my tear tray. So I am using one of these little wood plaques from the um, Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And I am staining it with that same antique wax by Waverly. I love this stuff. It's so easy and fast to work with. So one coat is good. Just going over with a paper towel to wipe off any excess. And look how beautiful that wood is for a dollar. That's really pretty. And I'm gonna use some of these um, textured uh, fruit stickers from the Dollar Tree and they have one of a pineapple. So I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I want that. And I'm just using some hot glue and I'm going to attach that to the sign. And then I want to do words over on the side. I didn't really want to get my Cricut out, and so I thought I might be able to do a hand-painted sign if I keep it simple. <laughs> so I'm using one of these yellow paint pens. I just got a new set of paint pens, and they're awesome. I'll post a link for those for sure. And I am just going to do my best try at that Radon Skinny font. Um, just kind of how I remember the letters looking. And I'm just gonna put Aloha. I thought that would be fun to go with the pineapple theme of the tear tray. And it actually wasn't as hard as it looked. Um, I'm definitely not good at hand painting, but when you do have these paint pens, it makes your job a lot easier and I didn't have to break out the Cricut or anything. So there's our sign, Aloha. Now this was a vase that I picked up at Dollar Tree that had blue spots on the bottom. And I used, just used some of that fingernail polish to take the blue spots off the bottom, leaving it just yellow and white. And then I picked up this cute candle at Dollar Tree today. And it's more of a succulent, but it also reminds me of the plant um, a pineapple grows out of. And so I thought that might be fun too. Next up, I wanna do a little sign um, using one of these little crates that they have at the wooden section in the crafter square. And I'm, it was had a lot of rough edges, so I'm just using a nail file to get in those um, in between areas of the planks to try to get that smooth down. Then I'm using that antique wax by Waverly, and I am staining our little wood crate that same color of brown that all of our other projects are. And I'm just doing the top in the bottom and the sides and it's gonna stand up on its side and so I don't need to do the bottom. And then I'm just gonna use a paper towel to wipe off any of the excess. 
And then I found this little pineapple luggage tag at the Dollar Tree. And I am just going to hot glue that to the front. Now, the only issue there is it has that little slit. And so I am going to need to cover that up as well. And I don't want it to look plasticky and cheap. So I'm going over and distressing it with that antique wax as well. And it brings out the texture on the luggage tag. So to cover that little slit, I'm just going to use some of this twine from the Dollar Tree and um, tie off a simple bow. And I'm just going to use um, some hot glue to attach that and cover up the little slit. And we have a little pineapple sign for the tear tray. And it's great because since it's a crate, it will stand up unassisted. And I'm just trimming the bow and it is ready to go. Okay, most tear trays aren't complete without a wood bead garland. And so that's what we're going to do here. I will post a link uh, to the wood beads that I get from Amazon below. I love these. I'm like on my third bag of them. So I'm going to do five of the medium ones in this maize chalk paint color. And I'm using the big skewers from the Dollar Tree to put the beads on to paint. They're the ones that you use for like um, roasting hot dogs that they have right now for the summertime. They are great for the medium and the large size. They're a little too big for the smaller ones though. And I am just going over with one coat of that chalk paint and just giving a little touch up for any areas that I missed. The yellow was a little light. It was a little hard to see on the wood. And then I am going to do five of these little small beads. And I'm going to have to use one of the little smaller skewers that they also have at the Dollar Tree um, to hold those. And I am just going to stain those the dark color from the Antique Wax by Waverly. And kind of going all over. I like to do the tops. And so then I turn them over and do the tops as well. And just trying to dry those off a little bit with paper towel to get off any of the excess wax. And then they kind of um, were very varied in color, which I kind of liked, but I touched them up a little bit just to make them a little bit more uniform. And then my third color, I'm going to do the medium again. I'm going to do five of that leaf color green because these are the main colors that I have been using today for the tear tray. And to make it be the same color scheme. This is going to be a pretty small would be garland. Um, I just need it for um, the top shelf, I think. So I'm just using some of this twine from the Dollar Tree going around my fingers until I got a decent sized tassel. Just cut off a piece of twine. I am tying off the top of the tassel and then using my scissors just to cut the bottom. And we have a tassel. I decided it's a little too long, so I do trim it here and make it a little shorter. And I am having to make a needle. I misplaced my needle I use for beading. I don't know where it is, but I just use a little painter's tape at the end of, of the twine. And I'm sorry, I am off frame here a little bit. And I just use that needle to go through the end of that tassel that we made and it's ready to start beading. So I'm just going to do yellow, brown, green over and over until I am out of the wood beads. And then I have a little pineapple that I picked up for the end of our tear tray. And that's actually um, lip gloss that I got um, in the little girls department at Target right now. And I, I could not find a small pineapple. And so that I finally found that today and I was excited to find it. It's the perfect size for the end of my little wood bee garland. And I am just tying off that end. That's where I will attach this little lip gloss. And the bottom is white um, for the lip gloss. And so I will have to paint that to make that match in. And so I am just gonna use some yellow acrylic paint to paint the white part where the lip gloss is just to make that look um, more consistent. Okay, I'm also tying off the um, tassel a little bit better, just going around it with twine and covering up um, the tie off that I did earlier to make it look a little bit 
more finished and more like a tassel. And then um, just tying that off and tucking in at the loose string for that. I, I have a new phone stand and I obviously don't know where, <laughs> where it's pointed at. There we go. And so on this end, I just have it tied off and I'm just gonna use um, some hot glue to put that tip of the rope back in that bead. And then I am going to also use hot glue to attach this pineapple to the end and the green bead to the green stem of the pineapple. That way it will hang off and you will have a little pineapple at the end. But I decided that it was a little too yellow and plasticky looking and so I am going over it with just one coat of that maize chalk paint that I've used on some other projects today. And toning that yellow down a little bit and making it match the beads on the garland. Okay. And I also want to go around and just tie a little bow around the top of the pineapple, um, just for where the paint was a little uneven from doing that touch up, just to cover that up and give it a little tiny detail. And we are done with this wood bead garland. It's not very long, but it does give me the desired effect on my tear tray. I picked up this little succulent um, in sand recently at the Dollar Tree. Then I also found these little white uh, tropical flowers. I thought these might be good to fill like any empty spaces in the tear tray and it will give me that same tropical vibe that pineapples would. So just snipping those off and now it's time to build our tear tray. So this is the top of my three tear tray and here is that pineapple cup from the Dollar Tree that we redid and just putting that on the top of the pole. And here is that little succulent candle. It fits nicely up on this small tray. And here is our Aloha sign that we made. And it kind of pushed the cup over a little bit and was falling over. So I do go in with one of these little 3D um, printed stands one of my friends sent me. Um, her husband made them and they work great for these projects and they're especially made for tear trays. And then here is that little short would be garland with a little pineapple hanging off the end just to fill up the dead space on the top of our tear tray and kind of hang off the end to give it a little bit um, extra special and just filling in um, any remaining spots with those white tropical flowers. Okay, we're moving on to tier, tr tier two of the tear tray. And we have our little crate that we decorated with the pineapple. We have our rope pineapple. And here is the little lighted pineapple. All of these items are from the Dollar Tree. And here is the little lighted wood pineapple. It barely fits, but I can just make it fit. And I love how it looks with that yellow tissue paper. And then here is the little candle that we gave a little pineapple fix to. And I think that looks good trying kind of to break up all the different pineapples and give a little variety and a few more of those white tropical flowers just to fill any empty space. Now we're ready to move on down and decorate tier number three of our tier tray. And this is the base, is the largest part. I have this little dog toy. I'm not really that fond of it, so I think I'm just gonna put it in the back and it doesn't even wanna stand up for me. Here's that little yellow and white vase and I just popped one of those white tropical flowers in it just for fun and to give it a little bit more height. And uh, this vase is perfect um, height for the bottom tray. It's definitely the biggest tray. And just kind of put those items in the back a little bit to fill the space and to give a pop of color. There is the little planter that we made out of the little box from the Dollar Tree. And here is this wooden pineapple. I love how that turned out. It looks so pretty. And our metal pineapple. That one turned out so good that I want that one to go in front. I really like how that turned out. 
and just a little succulent just to fill some dead space. And here is that little cat toy, the little pineapple man, just for a little touch of fun down there. And another white flower, just to fill in some more of the dead space. And here we go. We have our pineapple tear tray with our Aloha sign, our pineapple cup, and our wood bead garland. On that shelf, we have our rope pineapple. We have the little pineapple crate back there. And I love how this lighted pineapple turned out. It, it was my favorite. I'm not really using the pineapple light. It glue a little too bright, and I kind of like the softer um, that the front lighted one is providing with that tissue paper. And then onto the bottom shelf, we have lots of pineapples going on down here. Metal ones, wood ones. We have our little vases back there with a big pop of yellow and our little uh, planter that is made out of a pineapple as well with some tropical leaves. And that is how the back of the tray looks. And here is how the pineapple tear tray looks all together. I have this in the corner of my living room. I have a beach themed home. And so it fits right in. And I just love how this turned out. It's so fun and festive. And it totally reminds me of summer. What did you guys think? What was your favorite project? Leave a comment below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It really helps out. I'm a brand new channel, but I am looking to grow and so that I can make more things to show you. All right, until next time, bye.